So in this chapter, we explore everything you're going to need for uh, for modeling. So first, I've got a couple uh, mini projects to get us started. Uh, first one is a dread uh, skull project. So we're going to start really by learning how to control splines with the vectorizer and a couple other tools and combine them with uh, some other uh, spline elements. And then the next uh, mini project is going to be a uh, sort of a science fiction hallway, sort of like uh, Star Trek or Alien or something. We're going to once again start with uh, some spline shapes and uh, uh, using various polygon and extrusion techniques, turn it into some nice techy looking walls. And then we're going to use um, a snapping and a sketch tool to sort of draw out some ducts and pipes and combine that with our previously made elements. Uh, and then in the next uh, uh, segment, we're going to be making a floor and also using uh, some of those other extrude techniques to, uh, to build us a, a floor that kind of looks like it has some detail and some stuff going on in it. In the next mini chapter, we're going to be uh, working with the lathe object and uh, using um, uh, the, the arc tool and kind of using profiles to really get various uh, objects that are supposed to work with one another to really snug nicely. Uh, in the next uh, the next uh, to, uh, next chapter, we're going to be dealing with the loft object, and that uh, will be also dealing with symmetries and um, just getting it to line up with our reference real nicely. And then finally, we're going to be working with uh, polygon modeling, which is really just sort of the overall tool for for modeling for doing organic modeling. And the first is going to be just setting up our reference images, getting that all set up, and then. Uh, learning to uh, work with uh, our different mesh editing tools and then uh, just trying to line that up with uh, our human hand image as much as possible using our uh, sculpt and um, uh, slide tools to make uh, non-destructive uh, changes in our mesh. And then finally, after we add our uh, subdivision surfaces, we'll get into using uh, the Fong and uh, hyper, uh, or I'm sorry, subdivision surface weighting to uh, create edges and um, creases on our mesh. All right, hope this is useful.